Hey you guys, I'm jumping on here real quick to do a chatty get ready with you all. Well, maybe not real quick, not sure how long this video is gonna go, we'll see. I wanted to share some of my recent faves, an update on my bed situation, if you remember that from another video, and get ready. I'm filming other videos today, so I want to go with a fall look. Is it fall here yet? Mm -mm. But I'm in that kind of fall spirit, fall mood, as you can see from my mustard colored shirt. I have put on some of my makeup already. I did concealer, I did entirely too much foundation. I definitely put on at least 14 pounds of foundation and had to kind of flatten things out. And powder, I did some bronzer, and then I have, although this looks like a lip color, it's actually just a lip liner in preparation for a red lip. This is 115 Totally Toffee from Maybell May Maybelline. Maybelline Color Sensation. I really like this, that it's almost like it's red, but it's also brownish and it has a little bit of cool tone in it. I'm not sure how the cool tone is gonna work out with the eye look I think I wanna do today. But anyway, this was what I reached for. There is both warmth and coolness in this. Yeah, I know, contradictory. But I got inspired to do a red lip. I was watching my friend Joss at Joss's Fragrance Mixology. Check out her channel if you haven't done so already and give her a subscribe. Fun content, but she had this beautiful fall lip in the video that she posted this morning about layering. And I just got inspired and thought, I wanna do a red lip too. So I'm gonna do a red lip. But let me show you some of the things I've been loving. In my last video that I did on, is it fall yet? You know, wake me up when September's here. <laughs> Cause I was in such a fall mood. I showed some tumblers at the end of the video and mentioned that I was gonna get some more. Well, here is one that I picked up. Now you don't have to be a Starbucks fan to love this. Although yes, it has a very prominent Starbucks logo. You know, once you turn things around, look at that. <laughs> it's just this, listen, this is like the most cool pumpkin orange color but it has an ombre effect. So it's matte down here and then this little sort of sparkly acrylic up here. I don't love the Starbucks logo, but I did see this. I like Starbucks. I did see this at Starbucks and grabbed it. And Joss has one too, because we both love coffee. And now we're Tumblr twins. So yeah, really cool mug that I'm loving. And I've been drinking water out of this. I've got my sweetened tea in here today. I also wanted to share my nail polish. I think I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I want to mention it again. Not sponsored. This person is an Etsy seller. They have no idea who I am and that I'm, you know, putting this on my channel. So just know that. But I really love the holographic sort of effect. You see them, they're green and then they're brown and then they're green and then they're brown. And I think a bottle is like $11. It's ILPN or IPLN. I'll put it up here on the screen and I'll link it in the description box. By far the most reliable nail polish that I have purchased off of Etsy and I really enjoy all of the selections. I have a black one, I have red, I have pink and they're just, they're fun. They're easy to apply, they dry quickly and they last pretty decently and I'm the kind of person like my nails chip the day that I do them. Like I ruin my nails as soon as I do them but yeah, so here we are and what else did I want to show you? I have a fragrance channel, as you know, Veronica says, you're more than welcome to join me there if you would like. But a fragrance that I recently purchased a full bottle of because I had sampled it through a travel spray and actually an oil inspiration from oil perfumery of the same one. So travel spray plus the oil, liked those. Didn't think I wanted a full bottle and then just kind of got a hankering for it. So went ahead and ordered it recently when Sephora did this 20% off like fluke coupon in the middle of the summer. And I was like, yep, I'm going to add to cart and grab that. And it's Killian's. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. This is in the new bottle. It came in like a ball bottle before. I like this bottle better. This is a lot more just simple and classic. So people just call this princess and it's kind of like a marshmallowy, fluffy fragrance with some sweet notes. It has a little hint of tea in it too. And I think there's a little bit of citrus at the top, but I can't say that I detect that. So I've been really loving nails, <laughs> fall tumblers, and this fragrance in particular. I do have another love that I'd like to share with you, although it's a bit of a fail and it's my fault that it's a fail, but it's from the company Skin Potion. And this is the Royal Sandalwood Body Butter that I learned about through EVE here on YouTube. I will link her below. Gorgeous, super fun channel. Her vlogs are just the best. But she talked about this Royal Sandalwood Body Butter several times and she had a discount code, so I finally jumped on it. The problem, and this is not the company's fault, <laughs> is I left it out on the porch in the heat 
and it was out there all day. So we brought it inside and I asked my husband to open it because I couldn't. And when he opened it, the stuff inside was in liquid form. It had liquefied. So it fell all over our counter and I tried to salvage it and stick it back. <laughs> it's all bubbly from being hot, but it's still good and I'm gonna still use it. I don't love that it didn't come completely full. Like even with the stuff that spilled out, it still wasn't because I you know that I scraped that stuff right back up off of the counter and put it back in here. But even with that, it just, it wasn't like a complete thing, but that's okay. I'm gonna use this, smells divine. Divine sandalwood fragrance, very nice. And it's gonna layer nicely under my sandalwood fragrances. So there you go. Let's get into the fall look. I did wanna share some recommendations for palettes for fall. And I wanna keep this simple. I have three key recommendations here that I think you may wanna consider. And then two sort of honorable mentions because they're kinda of like one of them. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. First of all, <laughs> I love this e.l.f. bite-sized palette. This is called Pumpkin Pie. Actually, it's called Bite Size Eyeshadow, and the color is Pumpkin Pie. I've tried just about all of these, and I still have, I think, one that's called like Rose Water or Rose and something, and I have this And one. this color here is just the perfect like crease shade, uh, and then you can use this to deepen out the corner and do like a funky metallic in the middle of your eye with one of these. Really simple, you can get this for maybe three or four dollars at the drugstore. This is a gem of a little palette and pops right into your purse if you just wanna take it with you. Same thing with this next one, although it's pricier, and this is from Viseart, and it's called the Warm Edit. I think they still sell this, and I love that it's tiny, and you open it like this, almost like an artist's portfolio, and you see it looks like an artist's chair there. Or director's chair and here is the color scheme these colors here look really really beautiful on the eye purple is fun for fall as well as your traditional like yellows and pumpkin and brown colors as well really nicely performing palette i think this retails in the upper 30s or low 40s don't pay that much get it on sale if you can on the viseart site on beautylish when they're running deals and then i don't know that they sell this on sephora anymore but sephora does sell some viseart palettes but this is a gem of a little palette and then probably the classic fall palette that i pull for when the weather starts to cool down like i said the weather's not cool here y'all it is like 80 something degrees and super hot but in my mind and in my heart fall has started it's ac in here so we're going to just pretend that it's fall it's an expensive one but worth it it's the natasha denona metropolis palette you need to like warm tones although there are some cool tones in here like these i don't know that that's enough maybe some of these could be pulled off as cool as well definitely that one's a cool tone and these up here the majority of these are in the warm family but there's just some nice textures in here some nice mattes some nice cream to mattes meaning they're creamy to the touch and they dry down like powdery and there's such a variety of colors in here, even though it doesn't look like that. There's some nice brown colors. There's some orangey, pumpkin-y kinds of colors, lots of metallics and shimmers. And there are some pops of dark, like this really dark blue. This is a dark green. This is actually a light army green, which is a fun color. It can be a little pukey if you're not careful, <laughs> but if you blend it with some of the other colors, it's not blend it with, but use it with some of the other colors it might work out for you. And then there's a dark blue. So there's lot, like a thousand and one different looks that you can get out of this palette if you're willing to experiment. So this is like a classic fall one that I pull for and just worth it. Two other Natasha Denona palettes that are great for fall. You don't have to get any of these, but just think about these color schemes when you go shopping for palettes. Tarte has a new palette out that looks like fall colors. And is it Too Faced that has one of those like tin, eyeshadow palettes out i forget what it's called because i haven't looked i've been a little bit out of the makeup product loop here recently but i'm gonna get back in and in fact i may look at that tar palette <laughs> but natasha denona the bronze palette is you can't get more fall than this color scheme here okay okay and then a more classic natasha denona palette that everyone has forgotten about is sunset the sunset palette i think also has some beautiful fall themed colors here. I'm gonna play with Metropolis today, so let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with a Wayne Goss 06 brush, and I think I'm gonna go right into a bold fall color like this mustard. Maybe a little too matchy-matchy with my shirt, but I'm an 80s girl and sometimes we just match. I'm not doing it to match, but it does match. But where do we start? So I'm gonna start with what's happening 
this fall in my lab. I've been trying to slow down the hands of time so that I can enjoy every second. I've always been conscious of enjoying every second. Like I wasn't that mom with a young kid that was waiting and wishing time away. I was always conscious of the advice, enjoy every second. And I did. I always did these pauses to be in the moment and really love what I was experiencing, seeing, and you know, just the joy of watching, watching him grow up. So anyway, he went off to high school this week. High school started early here in Virginia, August 22nd, usually starts after Labor Day, but things have changed since COVID and school divisions are starting sooner. And it just, you know, it's one of those moments, if you're a parent, you understand. I mean, even if you have siblings that are younger than you, you, you get it because you watch them grow up. But there's like this bitter sweetness to it where, you know, he's leaving the car to get on the bus and I had this moment of like tremendous, like the swell of tremendous pride. And also this moment of just like profound sadness that the little boy is gone and he's now like a young man, you know? So I'm wrestling with those feelings all at the same time. So it's been fun to watch him start his first week. And he went to a pep rally at the school, which I thought was really kind of cool and brought back a lot of memories for me. And because it's high school and kids, you know, are into how they look, He's all of a sudden really interested in like what sneakers he's wearing, how his pants look, what kind of top, what's the brand name and all that stuff, which I just find so interesting to relive at this point in time at my current age, but through his eyes. So I indulge that as much as possible without raising a spoiled child. Like I absolutely spoil my child. I totally do. And my husband spoils his kids. Like we're, you know, we're very generous with our children. Uh, but you know, you want to, I have three rules for my kids. As I always say, the three of them, you know, is always be humble, be generous, be kind. And being humble means to me, in addition to having humility, it means being a really hard worker. Like, don't ever think that you're entitled to have things handed to you. You need to work your butt off to be the best at whatever it is that you want to do. And sometimes at things that you don't even want to get good at. So be humble, be generous. In other words, and that doesn't mean like, you know, having to give all your money away. I'm not talking about that. I mean, be generous with your time, be generous with kind words, be generous with grace, be generous with patience to the extent possible in this world, all of those things. Be generous with all of the virtual virtues that you are supposed to express in this world. I mean, supposed to is a, a strong you know, expression, but you know what I mean? Whatever it is that your tenets, your beliefs are, be generous with those, with yourself and with others. And that's a work in progress, at least for me. And be kind. Be nice to people unless they give you some reason to not be. And at that point, cut them out of your life. Like just ignore them. Don't go out of your way to do harm unto others. But anyway, be kind. Assume good intentions about people. Treat them that way. And, you know, move through the world that way. Generous, humble, and kind. What about you? All right, so now that we have this beautiful color down as a base, which I love, I could probably just stop here, put some eyeliner on and go but we gotta be extra and we gotta do the most. So I think I'm gonna go into this. This is a cream to powder brown formula. What is this called? Antique, it's the color antique. And I think I'm gonna put that like on the outer edges. So I'm gonna get a different brush. So yeah, so school has started and it's super cool, like I said, to just kind of relive the high school experience through his eyes. And also my stepdaughter, as she you know tells us about her experience going into high school, uh, she's in 10th grade. It's just really cool to watch how things have changed and how they're still the same, you know? Lots to say there, especially on the social end of things, but we'll maybe do that another time. In the meantime, I have been very home nesty. <laughs> That's not a word, but kind of just focused on things at home that I enjoy that bring me joy, like fall decorating, but in a very minimal fashion. I did get some pillow covers from Amazon with a fall theme. So I'll show you a few pictures or footage or whatever of those that I put on the pillows in our family room. And I'm a little irritated because I can't figure out where I stored some other pumpkins. I have some beautiful like handmade glass pumpkins that I bought from crafters and I don't know where I put those things. So <laughs> I'm kind of aggravated. I do want to make some fall dishes. Share with me, please, what your favorite fall dishes are. Like, what do you look forward to making in the fall? I certainly want to bake some pies, like all that traditional stuff, like apple pie and all that. 
and I'm starting to reach for apple fragrances and blah, 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 blah. But um, I have this beautiful ceramic dish that is fall themed that I look for excuses to use when fall time comes around. I've loved this thing for years and years. It's so, so lovely. So looking for recipes to make in that would be happy to take any suggestions from you all um, as I do my Betty Crocker thing. <laughs> Oops, too much here. Let's blend that out, yeah. Another thing I'm super looking forward to if they do it, because I did they do it last year? I, it's not been done either the past year or two years or whatever because of COVID. There are a couple of local farms. There's uh, Chesterfield Berry Farm, and then there's one I think in Hanover, if I'm not mistaken. And they do they have like a corn maze. I hate the corn maze part. It takes way too long to get through. Usually the days that I go, it's still hot and it's miserable. <laughs> but they have little like train rides on the grounds. They have pumpkin milkshakes. They have pumpkin picking. You can go out to the fields and pick pumpkins. And I think the one that's in Hanover, if it's in Hanover, the one I'm thinking of, has outdoor haunted experiences. So you go through these barns and stuff that they've set up almost like haunted house style and they scare the mess out of you. But it's fun to do that. I'm gonna put on some old reliable Ulta glitter glue on the center of my lids because I think I wanna do like a gold color there. So this is the color Helena. I think I'm just gonna do that here on the outside for a little bit of sparkle and then go in with something a little bit more gold bronzy right in the middle. So what are your favorite fall activities? If you have fall, I realize that some of you don't get to experience fall. Maybe you don't wanna experience fall because of the way that the weather is in your area just never gets cold. I get it, I totally understand that. But for those of you that do, what is your favorite fall activity? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm going in with the color Blaze. So very quickly, this is the Helena that's on the outside and then this is Blaze. So let's do that and hope it doesn't flake all over the place. I'm gonna actually do my fake eyelashes today. See, y'all, I am getting very rusty with my makeup game and I'm okay with that. Are you okay with that? I used to be totally on top of it and I'm just not anymore and I'm all right with it. I've even gone like whole days, whole days with no makeup on recently. It's inconceivable. So there are gonna be football games at the high schools and whatnot. And I kind of just look forward to driving them to those events and hearing their excitement about hanging out with their friends, getting hot chocolate in the stands. You know what I mean? Like, here's how I think about it. How lovely and how innocent that they still get to enjoy that. I love it. I think it's really sweet. And as long as they're having a good time and they're not getting into any trouble, you know what I mean? My 80s friends, you know what trouble looked like in the 80s. My 90s friends, you know what trouble looked like in the 90s. It's a whole different kind of trouble these days. It's almost like you get to relive your school experience through your kids. And it's really neat. I'm really, really excited. I'm also excited that they're starting to think about college, you know, and how everything that they're doing now affects their college application process. It's just neat to see it start to come together. And... It's happening because they're getting that sort of influence at school, you know? All right, so I think this is gonna be the basis of the look. I'm gonna do a little bit of liner underneath with the shadow to bring it around. And then we're gonna go in probably, I say we like you're here with me, but you're here with me, you know? I'm gonna go in with probably a brown liner and definitely some fake lashes and big brows. We're going for big eyebrows. Let's do it. Do I want to do green? Let me try that. Let's see how that looks if I do like a funky green underneath. Wish me luck. This could turn out to be a complete disaster. All right. We're going to roll with this. <laughs> Just the cutest. I'm going to, you know, I love Natasha Denona. We've talked about this a thousand times. <laughs> There's a work and set eye gel that she makes and it looks like that. This is the brown one. This is the most chocolate eye gel that I have found that I actually like. So let's do some upper eyeliner with this. I wanna put it on fairly thickly. See like, can you see the chocolate, the chocolateness 
of that liner. I love it. It's just the perfect tone. It's warm without being like obnoxiously warm. But it's also neutral. But it's also cool. I guess that makes it neutral. I like it. By the way, if you're into fragrances or you want to get into fragrances, I welcome you to check out my other channel. My most recent video is that I posted anyway, I have other videos in the queue here, is a coffee fragrances video, which is like perfect for fall theme. And I become obsessed with my coffee. Obsessed. Do we like that word or do we hate it? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with coffee fragrances, chocolate. I ordered some chocolate fragrances that I've had my eye on for a while and I am so excited. I have some in the collection, of, of course, but I ordered some more caramel, all of those beautiful fall scents, cinnamon. I cannot wait. So I'm going to be doing like a video series on fall fragrances that are themed like that, starting with the coffee, which I posted. Maybe you would like to check that out. And if not, no problem. It's all good. Okay, that's super fall. See? Let's go in with the other stuff. I'm going to use the Ardell Faux Mink. That's what they're called, 817s. Faux Mink 817s. I totally over applied the stupid glue. Look, there's just <laughs> entirely too much. Whatever. So look, I have been in an organizing mood, although it stresses me out at the same time. I have undertaken organizing my fragrance collection, which is unbelievably enormous and I should probably pare it down but I have trouble doing that because I like it and I think I'm gonna try to tackle my closet next <sighs> that's harder to me because I have a large shoe collection and I'm attached to them all they all have meaning for me they all have occasion for me occasions that have not come up in years like I have not had occasion to wear the 3,496 pairs <laughs> exaggerating of stilettos that I have. I love stilettos. I love them. I love, I love them. But y'all, I have not had occasion to wear them. I just have not. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm in a conundrum because I like looking at them. I like going into my closet and just seeing them sitting there. But Holy cow, sometimes it's easy to put these on, sometimes it's a nightmare. Everybody's got different advice on how to do it. I put on way too much, in case you're wondering what that noise was, it's the fact that I used this like 10 times zoom mirror to do this eyeball, which was probably not a good idea. It's terrifying to look at yourself like that. <laughs> but here we are, I'm gonna let the glue dry and then I'm going to clamp them and put some mascara on them. Okay, so I did eyelashes, curled them and then I did <clears throat> an eyebrow pencil and I have a new product that I've been loving on and it's the dip brow pomade from Anastasia this is in the color caramel nice brown color to run through my eyebrows after I do I do the pencil first because I need to fill in this little part and then I do this now I could probably take a really thin brush like this something along these lines and create strokes but it's easier to at least for now, to just use the pencil and then the pomade on top. So I'm gonna do cheeks, lip, and then I need to curl this hair, get some jewelry on, and start filming. So let's do that. This is not exactly what I wanted, but I'm moving on. <laughs> this is Flower Beauty, and it's the powder blush, and they're called Flower Pots, in Peach Primrose. Let's try that and see how that works out. I think it's kind of a warmish color that can go with this look. It has a little pink undertone, so I'm not super thrilled about that. I might layer something over it, maybe go over it with a little bit more bronzer. I've always said one trick to tie your blush and your eyeshadow together is to literally run your blush through your final look. It helps to blend the edges of your eyeshadow together to give it a sort of soft effect like you see there and it helps to tie the two looks together. I did do a little bit of gold highlighter on the inside of the eye and right in here. I probably need to get better lighting if I'm going to do makeup videos. <laughs> what do you think? Let's try a lip color. I think it's called Irreverent Cinnamon. 
Ooh, my lips are dry right there. Crusty. I got crusty lips, y'all. But I don't care. I'm gonna power gonna power through. All right, so what do we think of this color? I love that it's called something cinnamon, irreverent cinnamon or something. I love a cinnamony color. I love warm reds. Like I said, Joss was wearing a warm red in her video, or at least it looked warm on camera. So I wanted to do something similar to that. Let's do hair and get the heck off camera. So I'm happy to report that the bed setup is working out. And I finally got some king size pillows to put in these shams. Look at that nail polish shift. Brown, green brown green anyway <laughs> king size pillows to put in those king size shams so everything sits up nice and straight and i just went ahead and kept this here it worked out so uh, remember i was gonna i was thinking of maybe putting this as the bedspread and then this more furry faux fur thing as the footboard kind of spread but that worked out and all of the kinks have worked out of the faux fur on its own i mean it's not perfectly smooth but look life's not perfect and that works for me and the big win is that my husband loves it he thinks it's great so this is staying for sure <laughs> so here's where i landed with the final look i did curl my hair and i did the what do you call that setting spray all of that stuff and I layered two fragrances. So like I said, it's really still hot, but I'm in the fall mood. So I wanted something that had a little bit of oomph and a little bit of like kick to it, but that would still be good for a hot day, even though I'm inside in the AC and pretending that it's fall. So I layered, this is a bold combination, Mancera Oud Lemon Mint with Aqua Allegoria Mandarin Basilique from Guerlain. <laughs> This is a little bit oody, a little bit lemony, a little bit minty, a little bit powdery, but definitely has some strength to it, although it's kind of like soft around the edges. And this one has this beautiful, juicy kick from a heavy mandarin note and balanced out from the aromatic basilique. It's very, very fascinating fragrance. Great combination. So that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and hearing some life updates. And I will talk with you in the next video. I'm still working on my Disney and Universal vlog video. So that's coming. It's just, it's so long. I haven't had the mental energy to tackle it, but I'm gonna do it. Y'all take care. Thanks.